Hello friends and welcome to my channel World of Science with me Asim Saba. The intention of my videos will be to help students who are pursuing B.Sc, M.Sc, Bachelor in Tourist Hospitality in Food Science and Nutrition and for others who are preparing for competitive exams like CSIR NET, UGC NET and RD exams. So today's video is about mechanical dryers. This video is going to be the continuation of my previous video. So do watch my video fully. What are mechanical drying? This is a method to dehydrate and dry foods in order to prevent spoilage. This is an artificial method which uses heated air as a medium for drying. Heated air coupled with controlled relative humidity is passed as a steam over the food and eventually dries the food. The temperature used in this drying was around 52 to 60 degrees Celsius. It is advised to dry foods for longer period of time at lower temperature as it yields a better products. Normally, fruits dry in approximately 6 to 12 hours, while vegetables take around 6 to 15 hours depending on the water content. These are the mechanical dryers which are used in small scale industries. So, number one, hot air dryers. This is a commercial scale dryer. Steam is used to heat the drying air at a temperature less than 250 degrees Celsius. There are some of the disadvantages using this hot air dryer. They are, moisture increases the humidity of drying air and reduces its moisture carrying capacity. The product of combustion, that is contaminate the food, produces nitrogen oxide that increase nitrates or nitrites and some of the carcinogenic compounds which are harmful for the health. The next one is the cabinet dryer which is also called as tray dryers which is used in small scale production. Insulated cabinet fitted with mesh or perforated tray contains a thin layer of food that is around 2 to 6 cm deep. Hot air is borne through ducts and buffers for uniform air distribution. Low capital and maintenance cost, flexible in operation for different foods. Relatively poor control and product quality varies as food dries more rapidly on trays nearest to the heat surface. Next one is the pin dryers. These are large cylindrical or rectangular container fitted with a mesh base. Heated air around 40 to 50 degrees Celsius passes upon through the foot at low velocities. These dryers have high capacity and low capital. Dry finished product that is cut a whole wedge initially dried using other dryers. The next one is the conveyor dryers which is also called as belt dryers. The food is dried on the mesh belt that is 5 to 15 cm deep. Initially air flow is directed upwards through the bed of food. In later stages downwards. The partly dried food is mixed and repelled by two or three stage dryers. Improves uniformity of drying and saves floor space. Example, potato strips stacked in 40, 10 cm deep layer reduced to 5 cm after drying. By restocking the material to a 30 cm depth, space can be saved. The next one is the fluidized bed dryers. The main feature of fluidized bed dryers are distributor. This one evenly distribute air at a uniform velocity around the bed of material. Below the distributor there is a plenum chamber which produce an homogenized region of air and prevent localized high velocities. Above there is a mesh tray containing food up to 15 cm deep. Hot air is blown through the food, causes the food to suspend and vigorously agitate it. That is called as fluidized. This exposes maximum surface area of food for drying, for example, grains, peas, coffees, etc. There are two methods, that is, batch operation, where food is thoroughly mixed by fluidization, leads to a uniform moisture content. And next one is the continuous operation, where food is moved in vibrating trays, but moisture content varies. Used to encapsulate solid particles. A solution of coating material is sprayed on the food particles which is dried to form a protective layer. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon. Like, share and comment. Watch my next video for the continuation of this.